Make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. Step 1. On the channel display, go to the main menu, select Advance, then Network. Select Type as DHCP and set UPnP to Open. Click Apply, then select OK, and then click on Exit. Your DVR will restart. Step 2. Unplug the power to your DVR as well as your router. Step 3. Connect the router to the back of the DVR using an Ethernet cable that came with your QC DVR. Step 4. Now power up both the DVR and the router. Step 5. Now that the router and the DVR are connected, we must check to see if the ports are working. Open your internet browser on your computer. Type in the URL canyouseeme.org. You will be checking ports 80, 100, and 9000. These are important for remote monitoring. Type in 80 and click check. Now scroll down, it should state success. I can see with both the port number and IP address listed. Now repeat the same steps for port 9000 and 100. Step 6. If you receive an error again at canyouseeme.org, then you'll need to go back to the DVR menu, select Advance, and then Network. Change the HTTP port from 80 to 85. Select Apply, then OK, then exit the screen. Your DVR will reboot once more. Step 7. Recheck ports 85, 100, and 9000 again at canyouseeme.org, following the same steps as before. It should now read at the bottom of the page, Success, I can see, with both the port number and IP address listed. Step 8. Make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. You will now need to find the DNS server address. Click Start, click All Programs, and then Accessories, and open the Command Prompt application. In the Command Prompt, type ipconfig backslash all and press Enter. Look for the section of the command that returns and says DNS servers. The IP address next to this entry is your router's DNS. It will now display your DNS server information. Copy it down. Step 9. Now on your DVR, for the main menu, select Advance, then Network, and enter DNS information. Select Apply. Then OK, then exit the screen. Your DVR will reboot once more. Step 10. Note, this must be done from the same network as the DVR. In the URL, enter in myqc.com. You will now register for a DDNS account. In the email address, enter in a valid email address. In the password text box, enter a password and then confirm that password. Please enter your first and last name. Now please select a security question of your choice from the drop-down menu and input an answer to the question in the text box below. Please confirm the verification code in the text below. And now click Submit. It will take you to the domain name creation page. Please enter a domain name of your choice, then press Request Domain. It will inform you whether the domain name is available. Please keep on repeating this process until you reach a name that is available. You have now completed registration. 
Now in the My Domains page, it will list all the domains registered under your account as well as their statuses. At this point, please write down the username, password, and domain name that you just registered. Step 11. On the DVR, go to Menu, Advance, and then Network, and locate the DDNS settings, and input all the MyQC DDNS account information, such as username, password, and host or domain name, and select Apply. Now, exit the screen. Step 12. To connect remotely over the internet, open your web browser and enter the domain name in the address bar that you had registered at myqc.com. Then type in the username and password and select login. Congratulations! You have finished remote viewing setup for your QCQS series DVR. If you receive an error again, please open your internet browser and type in qc.com slash support. Select the Ask a Question tab at the top and choose how you wish to communicate, and a QC representative